there. Hello and how are you? Hey friends, it's me, your host, Shenandoah Briscoe. Welcome to the Shen Show. I tell you what, this here is Sunday's July 17th, 2016. Happy birthday shout outs going to Susie Carroll Hall Racy and Stephen Pratt. All right, all right. Oh, that makes this V blog number 925. Five. So anyway, Susie and uh, Stephen, here we go. A happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Susan and Stephen. Happy birthday to you and many more. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Hey, that being said, let's jump right on to it. We've got... uh. The third Wednesday of every month, we got music on Main Street, right down there in the 100 and 200 block of Main. Uh, and that means uh, you're going to get to see the Silver Bullet, well, mm, let me correct that, Silver Bullet, which is a tribute band to uh, Bob Seger. So that'll be, you know, he's got the Silver Bullet band, that's Bob Seger. Well, these folks call themselves Silver Bullet. And, well, they'll be down there July 20th, so come on down and enjoy the fun. Bring yourself a lawn chair, pull yourself up a slab of concrete, and sit on down. There's some dancing going on, but everybody has a good old time. There's a beer garden across this alley there, and then there's a couple of beer pubs all over the place and some restaurants with food to eat and dine in. Oh, it's a good old time. Everybody always comes down and has a good time. And then if you'd like to on Friday, which would be the 22nd, you can go over to Don Weber, uh, the Jazz Trio. That'll be over there at um, I-370 Lakeside Park. That's just off the end of... Um, Harry S. Truman over there. Don't forget to kick your cell phone over there and listen to the Don Weber Jazz Trio on Sunday, or I mean on Friday at the uh, Friday night concert, sunset concerts in on the lake. That's what they call them, sunset concerts on the lake. Alrighty. Anyway, hey, um, what else did I want to say? Oh, yeah, by the way, there is a, another... Um, what did I do? Don't say. There is another something or other I wanted to bring up. Let me uh, let me see what it is. Hold on just a second. Okay, that's what it was. Frank's Heroes. Don't forget they've got the two locations now. One down at the Art Foundry down on uh, North Main Street at 200 North Main, I believe is what that address is. Anyway, that's uh, at... Um, can't be 200 North Main. It's Riverside. Well, I guess it could be 200 North Main, but anyway, it's Riverside Drive, right there in the corner of Riverside as you come around the corner, uh, right past the stop sign, Main Street stop sign. Come down uh, Clark till you get to Bottom Hill, and uh, the name changes on the road right there to Riverside Drive. Yeah, main to your right, Riverside will curve on around the corner. And right there in front of you, you'll see the Art Center, the um, ACF Foundry Art Center. Anyway, that's where they're going to be uh, doing their lessons. So if you're a veteran or if you know a veteran who'd like to partake in some guitar lessons, if they have a guitar or if they don't have a guitar, you can send them on over to uh, the Art Foundry on Saturdays. Uh, from 10 a.m. to 11:30 a.m., and they'll might they uh, can get over there and get them some free guitar lessons. I'll tell you what, my dad's associated with Frank's Heroes, and I'm not sure exactly why he didn't tell me about this, because I'd sure like to know whether he is uh going to be over at the Spellman Building or if he's going to be over at the uh, Foundry, because uh. uh I didn't mention that. The uh, um, players that know how to play pretty well, they're going to be over at the Spellman building, and uh, they'll be over there practicing for their gigs. 
which, you know, Frank's Heroes has gigs every now and again. Uh, we had one a uh, couple of weeks ago out there at Sunset uh, Saturdays, or Sunset Fridays at the Riverfront Park. So, I mean, at the Lakefront Park. So, anyway, uh, that being said, yeah, you can go to the Spellman Building over in uh, Lindenwood College Campus and catch yourself some guitar, uh, play some guitar if you're a veteran and you know how to play already. Or if you're not a veteran and you would like, I mean, if you are a veteran and you would like to learn how to play, you can always just go uh, over to the uh, um, Art Foundry, the Foundry Art Center on uh, Saturdays, and they're both uh, held simultaneously at the same time. So, hey, looks good, looks fun. You know, Frank's Heroes, not only do they supply guitars and, and music for folks here in the States, um, who come in and want to play over here. They also will ship guitars and music for people to learn while they're overseas. So if you know somebody overseas that really wants to learn how to play guitar, you have them contact Frank's Heroes at franksheroes.org or on Facebook at Frank's Heroes. All right. All righty then. Um, that way you know they can get some free lessons. All right, okie dokie then. Uh, I'm going to jump off of there and uh, think I'll sing a song today. I've been wanting to sing a couple songs and, well, one of them kept rolling through my mind all morning, so I'm going to kick her on off. Uh, here, I'll just do this and this. An old cowboy went riding out on a dark and windy day. Upon a ridge he rested as he went along his way. When all at once a mighty herd of red-eyed cows he saw. Plowing through the rugged skies. And up a cloudy draw. Their brands were still on fire and their hooves were made of steel. Their horns were black and shiny, and their hot breath he could feel. A bolt of fear went through him as they thundered through the sky. For he saw the riders coming hard, and he heard the mournful cries. Yippee-yay! Ghost riders in the sky. Their faces gaunt, their eyes were blurred, their shirts all soaking wet. His ride, his ride hard, ride hard to catch that herd, but they ain't caught them yet. Cause they got to ride forever in that range up in the sky. On horses snorting fire. As they ride on their heart, he heard their cry. As the riders loped on by him, he heard one call his name. If you want to save your soul from hell, a riding on our game range. Then cowboy change your ways today or with us you will ride Trying to catch the devil's herd Across these endless skies Yippee-i-o yippee -e Ghost riders in the sky ghost riders in the sky ghost riders in the sky all righty hey 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 that was Johnny Cash um there's another one I was gonna do I'd like to do it was kind of crossed up between two different songs. I was going to try to cross it up between two different songs. I was traveling west of Buckskin on my way to a cattle run. 
Across a little cactus desert on a hot blistering sun. No. See, that's two different songs. I'll do them both, but I'll do this one. I was traveling west of Buckskin on my way to a cattle run. Across a little cactus desert under a hot blistering sun. I was thirsty down to my toenails and stopped to rest me on a stump. But when I tell you, I just couldn't believe my eyes when I saw that water pump. It took me for a barrage at first. It'll fool you, a thirsty man. Then I saw a note stuck in it in a baking powder can. This pump is old, the note began, but she's works, so give her a try. I put a new sucking washer in her, so you may find the leather dry. You got to prime the pump, you must have faith and believe. You've got to give of yourself before you're worthy to receive. Drink all the water you can hold. Wash your face, cool your feet. Leave the bottle full for others. Thank you kindly, Desert P. Yeah, you'll have to prime the pump and work that handle like there's a fire. Under that rock, you'll find some water I left in a bitters jar. Now there's just enough to prime it, so don't go drinking first. You'll pour it in and pump like mad, and buddy, you'll quench your thirst. You've got to prime the pump. You must have faith and believe. You've got to give of yourself before you're worthy to receive. Drink all the water you can hold. Wash your face, cool your feet. Leave the bottle full for others. Thank you kindly, Desert P. Well, I found that jar, and I tell you, nothing was ever prettier to my eye. And I was tempted to so strong to drink it, cause that pump looked mighty dry. But the moat went on, have faith, my friend, there's water down below. You've got to give it until you, you get. I'm one that ought to know. So I poured in the jar, and I started pumping, and I heard a beautiful sound of water bubbling and splashing up out of that hole in the ground. I took off my shoes and I drank my fill of that cool refreshing treat and I thanked the Lord and I thanked that the pump and I thanked old Desert Pete. You've got to prime the pump you must have faith and believe. You've got to Give of yourself before you're worthy to receive. Drink all the water you can hold. Wash your face, cool your feet. Leave the bottle full for others. Thank you kindly, Desert Pete. Drink all the water you can hold. Wash your face, cool your feet. Leave the bottle full for others. Thank you kindly, Desert Pete. All right, all right. I'm going to do that other one, too, so give me a sec to look her up. All right, here we go. Well, I was thumbing it from Montgomery. Had a guitar on my back. When a stranger stopped beside me in an antique Cadillac. Now, he was dressed like 1950, half drunk and hollow eyed. Said it's a long walk to Nashville. Would you like a ride, son? Well, I sat down in the front seat and turned on the radio. And them songs, them sad old songs coming out of them speakers were solid country gold. Then I noticed in the stranger was go white, ghost white and pale as he asked me for a light. And I knew there was something strange about this ride. He said, Drifty, can you make folks cry when you play and sing? Have you paid your dues? Can you moan the blues? Can you bend them guitar strings? He said, boy, can you make folks feel what you feel inside? 
Cause if you're a big star bound, let me hope on you, it's a long, hard ride. Then he cried just south of Nashville, and he turned that car around. He said, this is where you get off, boy. I'm back to Alabama. As I stepped out of that Cadillac, I said, Mr. Many Thanks. He said, you don't got to call me Mr. Mister. The whole world calls me Hank. He said, Drifter, can you make folks cry when you play insane? Can you moan the blues? Have you paid your dues? Can you moan the blues? Can you bend them guitar strings? He said, boy, can you make folks feel what you feel inside? Because if you dig starbound, let me warn you, it's a long, hard ride. He said, Drifter, can you make folks feel you cry when you play and sing? Have you paid your dues? Can you moan the blues? Can you bend them guitar strings? He said, boy, can you make folks feel what you feel inside? Because if you're big star bound, let me warn you, it's a long, hard ride. Because if you're big star bound, let me warn you, it's a long, hard ride. All right, all right, all right, boy. Tay, 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 tay. What I wanted to do. Those are a couple of songs I wanted to do today. And uh, as you can see, I'm pinned back in my seat all the way back. Give me a sec. Okay, I'm here for now. <sighs> How long it's going to last, I do not know. But I'm going to try to make it last throughout the end of this thing. So, I'm already over, but that's all right. We still have to do our portion of the program called The Daily Bread. Now, if you uh, go to odb.org, or if you can find a copy of The Daily Bread, if someone is so kind as to give you a copy, well then, uh, you should go ahead and get you a copy. Find you a copy. A lot of doctor's offices have them. Um, your local church might have it, but it's called Our Daily Bread. Anyway, if somebody gives you a copy, I... I um, I, probably, I suggest that you really read it and get into it because, hey, it's a good, sweet read and it's a gives you a little devotional portion. Um, like today's devotional is called An Open Hand. And so, therefore, uh, that's probably what this is going to pertain to, An Open Hand. Uh, we'll be reading uh, Acts 20 through, uh, 20, 22 through 35. And uh, we'll be reading Psalms 18 through 19 and Acts uh, 20, 17 through 38. Boy, you know, that. Oh, if you're doing your Bible in a year, that's what's going on. We'll be reading Acts 20, 22 through 35. If you're keeping up with your Bible in a year, you'll be reading Psalms 18 through 19. And you'll be reading Acts 20. 17 through 38. There we go. That's what threw me off. Blah. Alrighty, since I am not allowed to read the uh, um, Bible in a year, I mean the uh, Daily Bread, because of the fact it's uh, against the uh, copyright policies, I'm going to go ahead and read off the Bible because, well, it's not copyrighted. So, here we go. And now... Behold, bound by the Spirit, I am on my way to Jerusalem, not knowing what will happen to me there, except the Holy Spirit solemnly testifies to me in every city. They say that bonds, that bonds and affliction await me. But I do not consider myself of any account as dear to myself, so I am finished, so I may finish my course and ministries which I receive from the Lord Jesus, to testify solemnly of the gospel of the grace of God. Sorry about that. Now I'm back here again. And now, behold, I know that all of you, among whom I went about preaching the kingdom, will no longer see my face. Therefore, I am testified to you this day that I am innocent of the blood of all men. For I did not shrink from declaring to you the whole 
purpose of God by be on guard yourselves for all the flock among which the Holy Spirit has made you overseer to shepherd the church of God which he preached which he purchased with his own blood I know I know that after my departure savage wolves will come in among you not spar uh, not sparing the flock and from among your own selves men will arise speaking perverse things to draw away the disciples after them therefore be on the alert remembering that night and day for a period of three years I did not cause to abolish each one with tears and now I commend to you God and to the word of his grace which is sorry about that yeah. which is able to to build you up and to give you the inheritance among all those who are sanctified I have converted no one's I have covenanted no one's silver or gold or clothes you yourselves know that these hands ministered to my own needs and to the men who were with me and everything I showed you that by working hard in this manner you must keep the weak and remember the words of the Lord Jesus that he himself said it is more blessed to give than to receive and there you have it Acts 20 22 through 35 oh man it's trying to kill me here all right well it looks like my time's up so I'm gonna have to say goodbye my friends it's time to go goodbye my friends it's time to go I hate to leave you but I really must go Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. I'd like to thank you for tuning in to the Shen Show. This here is Shenandoah Briscoe saying, Hello and how are you? You know, God loves you and so do I. So be blessed in Jesus' name and come back and see me tomorrow because, well, I'll be here and I hope you are too.